Good morning, Rowan. It is actually, it is the afternoon. Hmm. Uh, it is Wednesday and I'm going to speed through a garden tour before we start to get more rain because it has been raining off and on all week this week. I've barely been able to get anything done. Every time I come out to garden to try and film a video, to prune, to harvest, it starts raining on me. So let's see if I can show you everything that's happening <laughs> before that happens again. Um, as you can see, evidence of the ground cherries all over the ground. I have not even been out yet today to harvest. So I'm gonna have to take stock of that and come out and do that later. But for now, we have sunflowers popping up all over the garden. These little, this is the uh, teddy bear variety. Let me flip you around here. And I just think they're so cute. So like the petals are really, really dense inside. This is that short stocky plant I was telling you about a couple videos ago that had just tons of blooms on it. The real tall one that was here is now over there. And let me explain why. So we've been getting tons and tons of rain. And the other day I came out and it had fallen over. I tried to pick it back up and support it with some stakes but it just kept falling over no matter what I did. So I thought, well, I'm gonna have to, I guess, take the loss on this one. It was really sad, but like I said, we've been getting tons of rain. It was really windy that the day, the day that that happened. And so I pulled it out and when I pulled it out, I realized that it snapped. Uh, the stem had snapped like way deep into the dirt. So I brought it over here where the bed's a little bit deeper and reburied it. I have no idea if the roots are going to retake and if it will survive. It's looking a little worse for wear still, but like I said, we've still been getting so much rain, so um, it's not looking worse than it did when it fell over though. So maybe, just maybe, it will pull through. If not, we'll pull it out, but I wanted to give it a biting chance. So that's why that guy got moved. Over here, or I guess down here, is my Armenian cucumber plant, which has officially crossed the halfway up the threshold mark. So that's exciting. We got lots of flowers on it. The Beat Alpha cucumber behind it is doing well, but hasn't reached the trellis yet. Um, tomatoes are <laughs> doing tomato things. Uh, we're harvesting pretty regularly. Um, we are fighting some disease on the other bed. I think I'm going to wait to talk about that uh, until I've been able to treat them and I have more time to discuss. Let's see what else. Woo! Okra's doing good. Uh, the beans are doing good. Everything that I've re-sown has come up, I think, except for the beans that I just replanted up by the corn. We have squash plosion over here. Let me flip you around again. So I need to get out here in long sleeves and long pants when it's cool and really prune a lot of these leaves, uh, take out some of this dead stuff. But I, I don't know if you have this experience with squash or okra, but sometimes when I'm up in the leaves too much, I get like a contact reaction, almost like a very, very mild rash. And so I don't want to be in there pruning all of that uh, without sleeves and gloves but this I noticed the other day and I got so excited those I got two of them back there there's one there and one there are my delicata squash delicata squash are the only winter squash that I'm growing I do have some pumpkins up there with the corn uh, I'm very excited they have a really thin outer skin so you don't have to peel them like you do with other winter squashes you can just eat the peel but I do see some evidence of vine borer activity in here so I'm gonna have to join you in the uh, hunt to find it eradicate it and then seal everything back up this whole squash bed has just kind of gotten away from me and I really need to get in there and do some maintenance and make sure we don't have anything else going on but like I said, we got some sad tomatoes over here. 
Um, I pulled another huge hornworm off of this plant this morning. Um, but we are starting to get slicers. I harvested my first Dr. Witchies. Um, and then a lot of these black barrasage here um, are inside as well. I'm really hoping that the rain will stop <laughs> before anything else is ready to harvest in the tomato zone because um, they're just gonna be waterlogged fruits right now. Nobody wants that. Everybody wants sweet, juicy tomatoes. My watermelon here, ooh, almost dropped my phone. Hold on, let me turn you around. So the main stem plant is there somewhere, but this has just trailed off all through. I'm hoping, this is completely an experiment. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this before, but I just wanted to see if, because the okras are gonna get so big, you could use a melon as a ground cover, like, you know, they use squash and pumpkins and things as a ground cover for corn. So it's in here, it's exploding. It, I have to keep kind of redirecting it. You can see back there where I've spun it around. Um, so it doesn't go off the bed. But let's hope that in the future we have some little baby melons. This here uh, is my Kajari melon, which had a really, really slow start, but is starting to go and take off and climb up and get some flowers. And I see a beetle I do not want. Sorry, sir. Um, we're getting more and more okra every day opening up, so that's good. I need to come out here and spray again once so you can see this leaf is the one that was bad the last time I showed you but things are still getting eaten up and I just with all the rain haven't had a chance to spray again so I don't really know if there's anything I can do in the meantime but then there's this magic over here. These sunflowers are so cool. I need to come out and trim some of these off uh, so the plants kind of keep growing and keep flowering, but the bees love it so much. I don't know if you can see, like, there's so many on that little head there. So I don't want to take them all off. I want to wait until some of the other ones that haven't quite opened up yet have opened so the bees still have some happy. And I think that's everything in this very quick, hopefully it doesn't rain on me tour, which I think I managed to accomplish. Um, yeah, hopefully next week we'll have more slicers starting to ripen and uh, a lot less rain. <laughs> I'm always thankful for the rain, but when it's like nonstop, uh, it's less fun. I'm gonna also have to keep an eye on some plants and make sure that with all this moisture they don't start developing different diseases and whatnot but for now i think that's it i'm gonna go back inside because i think i hear more rain coming <laughs> and i will talk to you later